Hey Damaris, how do you make flan? You wanna make flan? Let's make flan. Okay, this is how I make flan. These are the things we're gonna need, so if you follow me. We're gonna need one can of evaporated milk, one can of sweetened condensed milk, one can of table cream. You don't need this, but I like using it because it makes it more creamy. We're gonna need some sugar, about one cup of sugar. I like using four eggs. You could use up to six, but um, I think four is just perfect so it doesn't taste too eggy. And um, I like using vanilla paste. You don't have to use vanilla paste, but you could use any vanilla. It's just that this gives it a nice, um, better taste. Okay, we're also gonna need a blender. You're also gonna need a pan. I wanna use today a tin pan. You could use any other pan, but I like this because it works well, especially when you're gonna flip it. And then you're gonna need another pan that this pan can fit into because we're gonna fill it with water and we're gonna bake it in that manner where this is floating on the water, which we call a baño de Maria, Mary's bath. All right, so before we get started, we need to preheat the oven. So preheat the oven at 350. And once that is um, started, let's go and caramelize our sugar. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can use a pot like this, and then you can put sugar and um, some water, and then eventually it'll turn into a nice caramel color. Or you can do it the way my mother taught me to do it, and how I do it. It's just right directly on the stove. So I'll turn it on low so I don't burn myself. So here's like a low heat. I put the sugar in the pan. It's about a cup of sugar, it's a lot. And then I'm gonna leave the pan over it. And you're going to see that it's starting to burn a bit. Now, this is hot. That's why I think it's probably better to do in the pot if you're not comfortable with the fire. So I am going to use some oven mitts. My oven mitts. And I'm going to hold it. And as you see, you see the sugar already? It's starting to, um, to burn a bit. So now I just move it a little bit and then just watch it caramelize. The risk that you take doing this is that you can actually burn the sugar. So you have to be careful not to burn the sugar. I think maybe putting it in a pot, you don't risk of burning it. But like I said, it's on top of the wall, baby. John Boss Entertainment. And the JX. Okay, so this is perfect. See, everything has been melted. It hasn't been burned. Now what I'm doing is I'm just going to take it off the, the flame, turn it off, and it's going to get hard quickly because it's getting cold. So I like to just move it around the pan and then just try to make it even and then I'm going to let it sit. All right, so we're going to start with the eggs. So I'm going to crack the four eggs into my into my blender. Okay. All right, now I'm going to add the milk. So I start with my evaporated milk. Then I add the sweetened condensed milk. This one always needs a little help. So I like to use my spoon to help it out. <laughs> Every time I see this, I think of, um, of this with Malta or with some bananas. Oh my goodness, That's so good. And then I put my little secret ingredient of making it nice and creamy, which is table cream. Now, some people actually put cream cheese at this point, or you don't even need this, so you can still get a nice flan without this. I just like it because I like it creamy. And then, of course, now the vanilla. 
I like using a vanilla paste because it gives it more of a vanilla taste. You don't need this. You could use raw if you want, or you could just use a vanilla extract. All right, we finished blending. So now I'm going to pour this into the pan. All right, now I'm not done. Remember, I need to bake this with water underneath it in what we call a baño of Maria. I added the water. The water doesn't have to be boiling. Some people put hot water. Um, I put just regular room temperature water. Now it's in here. I'm gonna take my pan and I'm gonna put it in the oven. And it's going to stay here in my 350 oven for about an hour. In an hour, I'm gonna come and check it, so we'll see when it's done. All right, so come on, let's check on the flan. It's been an hour. I'll see, I'll show you how to make sure it's ready. So you see the flan has a nice little color. We're gonna take, I take a knife, you could take a uh, toothpick, and then I'll just insert it in the middle, and I see that it still has, um, it didn't come out so clean, so I'm gonna leave it for like another 10 minutes, and then I'll be done. Come on out, it's been cooling off for a little bit. I think it's cool enough now that we can flip it. Remember, you always have to flip your flan so it can look pretty, so you can see all the sugar part. When you use it on tin pans, usually it's kind of easy, you just, you see how it's coming out on the sides? Sometimes you can do this. Other times, so it could be easier to, you can just take your knife. Okay, so now that I've cut it on the side, I'm gonna take my big plate, I'm gonna put it on it. Now I'm gonna hold it, and I'm gonna flip it. Ready, one, two, three. Ooh, you already see. And there is my flan. So here's your slice of flan. 